Yo, I don't get any sleep yet. So I decided to be an idiot and watch GPT talk about fucking dumb shit. I asked it a question, quite a simple question. What is it like to be a child inheriting millions? Dude, this whale music is fucking getting on my nerves. It's getting on my fucking nerves. Paused it. What is it like to be like one of them fucking children that like inherit trust funds worth millions of pounds? Is it just like micromanaging the money and then like fucking around? Like, what the fuck do you do? Unless you're like Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Elon Musk. <laughs> Elon Musk. <laughs> <laughs> the Asian way of saying his name. I like like him. Like, what the fuck do you do, bro? Because like, most people work in their career, they have a desire to be successful, and once they reach their success, they kind of retire, bro. That's it. That's done. Nada. And the successful is fiscally successful, by the way. They make a, bu a bunch of money. That, 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 that's the whole shebang. That's the whole shtick. And I asked it in this question, and it talked to it about purpose, and meaning, you know, money doesn't give happiness, having wealth doesn't automatically answer existential questions, or provide a sense of fulfillment, fair enough. Many people with substantial inheritances, inheritances, inherit, nah, I'm tweaking bro, I'm actually tweaking, inherent, inheritances, <laughs> find themselves on a journey, discover their passions and contributions to society managing wealth social dynamics you know people fake for you you know whatever impact and giving identity and self-discovery and what and contribution i i just went up to the impact and giving part some individuals with significant wealth feel a responsibility to contribute positively to society this can involve philanthropy Supporting charitable, to, charitable causes or investing in ventures that aim to make a difference. The last one is fair enough, but like the other ones are like, what the fuck? Like you do not owe anyone anything. Probably your parents. You probably owe your parents like money, or the money that they raised you. It'd be nice if you paid them back, but they, you don't really need to. You know, but other than that, like people that don't that have done a fucking thing for you, you don't owe them anything. I remember Michael, like the American culture of tipping and all this shit, it's like it seeped into worldwide culture. And that's stupid. You know, you should focus on yourself and get yourself right before you're able to give. You cannot fill a cup if you are empty yourself. You know, you know the whole thing. Like, um, to fill in someone else's cup, your cup has to be full. You have to have your shit together before you can do anything else. And maybe you don't have your shit together. And you can still pull it out of the mud. This is, this is fine. But the majority of people can't do this. What happens when the majority of people like have kids? They fucking like, well, they gotta scrounge around. They get, they get, they get fucked up. They have to work full time jobs now. They, 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 bro, they get fucked up. <laughs> fucked up for real. And, bro, it's the same. It's the same with the philanthropy thing, bro. If you're, if you got like a, a a million pound trust fund, a million pound goes away quick. Especially in a consumerist society. Especially in a society in which promotes degeneracy and you might think yourself to be a beacon of good you might you might just end up pissing away all your money and you don't owe anyone anything is that my cat scratching on the door it is yes you see because of the light who's ass okay Bro, you're gonna get hair on my, my, my pillow. Get out of here. You're getting hair on my bed, bro. Woke up to like. He keeps. He, like, he wakes me up with like the smell of his bum. Like, what the fuck? He, like, uh, cats, like, really like. If they really like you, then like, they put their bum in your face, but like. <laughs> like bro, I don't wanna wake up to that shit. <laughs> uh, it's like trust and everything, but like, bro, that is not a human interaction. Anyways. I remember like these Americans in the comment section of like some Facebook post. Don't ask me why I was using, I was using Facebook so I could like, talk to customers and face the marketplace, okay? Okay, put my hands up. I use Facebook marketplace for money. Okay? Okay? Leave me alone. <laughs> but uh, I... <laughs> so dumb, man. I'm actually so fucking dumb. Anyways. <laughs> uh, I, I saw like this picture of like Michael Jordan being cheap. They tips a waiter five dollars. 
And then, like, some other dude, some Wayne, he, this guy was literally called fucking Wayne, bro. I wouldn't be surprised if this guy, like, um, dressed up in a bat suit and fucking start beating up people at night. But, um, he was like, and then he tipped the waiter $100. And he's like, that, you don't tip like that, Michael Jordan. We tip like this, because we're rich. And we don't give a fuck. Fair. And then everyone in the conversation was like, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you should do that. You should always tip, especially if you're rich. Like, what the fuck is this entitlement coming from? Like, who the fuck are you? What is what is going on? If you rely on tips, like, to survive on, on your job, you should find a fucking other job. You should use all your time and energy when you come home to find another job in which you don't have to survive off tips to survive. Uh, to survive. It's so fucking dumb. Like, all the brunt is put on the customer. What about the organisation? The organisation is what pays the, the thing. The waiter at the end of the day. Oh, but then you can always replace the waiter. So, well, it's fuck. It's a fuck situation. But I'm not fucking paying extra for that. Fuck, I'm sore. Everything's sore. Yeah, but it's just like it is just so. Like, if you were a non-profit, fair, fair enough. You're a great person. But like, if you don't have your shit fully together, like, what the fuck are you doing? What What are you doing? You should be focusing on, you know, making money first. You need to be focusing on filling up your jug. Before you can, you know, dispense water first. Like, come on, come on, man. Get the fuck out of here. And at the end of the day, everyone has their own prerogative. And it is a good idea to respect everyone's prerogative. And just continue in your business. But genuinely, completely and utterly, I think that it is completely and utterly just stupendously stupid. To just, like, to give what you don't have. Oh, I have a million pound trust fund. I have 10 million pound. I can just start giving out, like, my friend's loans and stuff. And, no. No. Don't, don't do that dumb shit. I can start buying whatever I want. The new Gucci bag. No, no. no. Don't, don't do that dumb shit either. It's just... It's dumb. Identity and self-discovery. I'll read the other ones if you want to hear it. I'll start with purpose and meaning. I'll, I'll skip impact and giving though, because they, they all they all they're not in the same order. If regardless of financial status, individuals often seek purpose and meaning in their lives. Having wealth doesn't automatically answer existential questions or provide a sense of fulfillment. Many people with substantial inheritances find themselves on a journey to discover their passions and contribute to society. Two, managing wealth. The responsibility of managing potential wealth can be significant. It involves making informed financial decisions, considering investments, and potentially dealing with various advisors and professionals. This management process can be time-consuming and complex. Social dynamics. Wealth can sometimes impact relationships, both positively and negatively. It may influence friendships, family dynamics, and personal interactions. Managing relationships while navigating the complexities of wealth can be a challenge. Impact and giving. Some individuals with significant wealth feel responsibility to contribute positively to society. I already said that, man. This can involve financial peace, supporting charitable causes, or investing in ventures that aim to make a difference. Five, identity and self discovery. People who inherit, inherit substantial wealth may go through a process of self discovery. What the fuck is that? Um, I understand what it is, but like, what? Yeah, I get it, but like, okay. Understanding that who they are beyond their financial status and discovering their personal values become a crucial part of their journey. You know, fair enough. But like, what the fuck? <laughs> well, you have money now. If money was like your entire identity, like I get it. But like, motherfucker, man. Work and contribution. Many individuals, even with considerable wealth, find value in pursuing work or projects that they're passionate about. This might involve entrepreneurship, creative endeavors, or involvement in social causes. In essence, while financial wealth can open up various possibilities, a fulfilling and meaningful life often goes beyond material wealth. Wow, that's nice. nice. Thank you, JetGBT. It involves personal growth, positive relationships, and contributing to the well-being of oneself and others. Each individual's experience is unique, and how they navigate these aspects depend on their values, priorities, and personal journey. Wow, that's nice. Thank you, JBT, always with the strong, nuanced, neutral approach. That's gen gen generally helpful. 
that philanthropy is like fucking me low. Like, it's just it, it is. It reminds me of that 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 the climate climate change movement. Climate change is completely and utterly real. I remember Candace Owen saying, "Groom, how the fucking stubby my fingers got, man." I'm not blaming boxing for that. I I can definitely say like Candace Owen said, kind of climate change isn't real." I do believe that it's real. It it most likely is real. Temperature changing all the time. I believe that you know we we seen temperature changes in all the time, and I'm sure climate change is a natural occurrence. But the natural occurrence is most definitely getting sped up by human intervention. This is this is no surprise. I don't think there should be any surprise. To add on to this, sir, sir. People are like per perpetuating climate change in like higher positions with like power and influence, like Greta Thunberg or like, you know, what's her name again? What's that? What's that obese singer Lizzo? Like these individuals, they they private jane all around the world. It's hypocrisy. Like, they're burning more fossil fuel than anyone else. It's hypocrisy. I get an electric train jet. Oh wait, it doesn't exist. Oh wait, too expensive. Oh wait, is this oh but. Uh, Dumb. It's dumb. Yeah. Quite. Quite dumb. Um, if you want to do something about climate change, fucking talk to Elon Musk. You know, what, what happened to that fucking robot that like turns water into ice that rebuilds the the glaciers? You fucking do something like that. I spent 20 years doing something like that. that. That contributes to climate change in a positive light. In a negative light? What? What am I saying? Would you... If you contribute to climate change in a positive light, what, is, what do you mean you're just helping climate change? Which means that you should be burning more fossil fuels in order to contribute positively? It's like, it's like the doctor thing. I tested negative for COVID. Something like, something like that. Man, fuck out of here, bro. I do really believe in like I remember that like, some Asian guy talked to Gary Vee, and he was like, "This is obviously to address the the title of this video and keep on track with this video." I I do think like you do all your parents like money, and I genuinely do think this a parent single mom in case of me, like you should give them some money. Like you should, if you if you make a lot of money, you shouldn't be like a Jeffrey. You shouldn't be like a fucking loser, like a geek about. It. You should just give them money, bro. Fuck it, and they deserve it, man. Like, don't let them worry about money. They spend all their lives working their dick off. I mean, pause. Working their, um, their ass off. That's okay to say, right? And, you know, now in a good enough position, they don't have to worry about too much money, too much more, but they're still working. Bro, you can, you make enough money, you can just save them. I think that's like a big, like a big achievement. Like a big, I mean, that's Asian in me, but I think that that should be everyone's concern. Most definitely. <laughs> And um, of course, like, you know, Coil Ray recently, her dad asked her for money. And uh, that, obviously, honestly, it's kind of weird that um, he did it on social media. Do it in private, man. What the fuck? You're like 50 years old, bro. Chill out. Uh, grow up. Actual age. And um, like, here's, here's a positive argument, as in, that I made you. But there's another argument that also positive correlates to I made you, you should give me money. And it's that, you know, I don't ask to be born at the end of the day. And parents like get fucking offended and they go, oh my god, you know, why did you say that? But you guys have to realise at the end of the day, like, you guys are just spawn in. You, uh, at some age, maybe like 16, you, you gain fucking consciousness for the first time. At least understanding shit around you happens. And then after that, you know, it's just shithole it's like just a mess it's it's literally just work 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 maybe it's parting it's generosity which is still a mess but that's like that's the complexity of life right when you do give back to your parents it should be of your own volition not because they demanded it you know i'm still gonna give it to them even if my mom fucking demands me for it but um i'll give it to my mom but like if she starts fucking the money, I'm, oh, I'm obviously gonna be turned off. I'm gonna be like, turn off, pause. I, I'm gonna be like, no. Weird. But, 
you know, in a kid in me, like I have, to, you have to understand from a perspective of adults. Like they now you got a little bit of money, they obviously probably feel entitled to it because they gave birth, they gave birth to you, or, you know, they nurtured you, they spent a lot of money for you, on you to in order for you to become successful, which they didn't even know. They thought you're gonna become successful because they're putting you through a shit system. Um, thanks, mom. Uh, it's just that's the only real thing. Friends, unless they do something for you, it should be friends. Should always friendships should always be equal. There shouldn't be like a like a power dynamic in friendship, in true friendship. Um, within people that you want to influence, within people that you consider like you know friends for a certain perspective, a certain goal. Sure, there's like some formula with power shit, but like some Machiavellian shit. But it's just at the end of the day, like you don't really owe anyone anyone anything. It doesn't mean be selfish. It doesn't mean be an asshole. It doesn't mean go around the world thinking that you're a guy, you're the boss, and you just take anything you want, and you don't really care. It doesn't mean anything at all. However, it does mean that. It doesn't mean that you should be going around giving to people that truly deserve to be given to. Yeah. Not the 7 a.m. alarm, bro. Fuck out of here, man. Fuck. Do I even sleep? I don't even want to sleep. Let's get in this video, please.